A very good day to you folks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to connect with you folks again. So today, without any further ado, I am going to jump right to it. So today's video is a very interesting one. Most of you have, uh, my clients have been contacting me saying that when you switch on your app, your TV, and then your box, uh, when you load your app, which is the STB emulator, those of you who have services with me are very familiar with this, the gray TV icon, you get a pop-up saying, please contact your provider to register this device or your STB is blocked, call your provider. So most often not folks, the main reason for this is a security concerns and vulnerabilities, uh, which is pushed through your modem. So I want to make that very clear. There's a vulnerabilities and also software updates, which, be, which are being constantly bombarded to devices. And hence the reason why you get these triggers and blocks. So how do we unblock them? You could do it yourself instead of calling your provider, your IPTV service provider all the time to reset the device. So this is a quick fix. Without any further ado, let's jump right to it. So I click on the uh, IPTV app, which is the STB emulator app. So once I'm on this app, folks, um, those of you who are very familiar, do have the IPTV remote. All you've got to do is click on the button above number one, which is a settings button, which looks like a grid. In my case, I'm just using my mouse. There's three dots here, so which also gives me a drop down bar, which uh, then comes up with this little uh, drop down, I would say menu. You just click on settings here. You would want to click on profiles, then click on new profile. Once you click on new profile, my friends, click on STB configuration, STB model on the top. So for example, if it's checked on Mag 524, you just want to select something else. So let's go with this. So once you, you know, select something else other than what's been selected, what you've got to do next is scroll down. You go into device ID. Please make sure that the first two options, which is use Mac based device ID and send device ID is being checked. If you've already got this check, folks, don't worry. Just uncheck them and recheck them back again. That's all you've got to do like this. And once you've done that, just click on reset device ID to default value. Just click on that once and boom, that's all what you've got to do. So once you are in this screen, just keep clicking on the little return button, which is a hook or the back button on your remote until you come into, I would say, this a screen and then you click on once again the grid button above number one to get into this settings uh, drop down menu and once you do this just scroll right down click on exit boom that's about it and thereafter all you've got to do is unplug your modem and your box and replug it for those of you who have kids watching uh, you know for perhaps gaming and you can unplug uh, online schooling homeschooling Let's not disrupt them. Just unplug your box and replug it after about five minutes. You'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay tuned. More videos to come. I hope you enjoyed them. Please give me a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope you have a blessed one. Take care. Bye-bye for now.